This is Diana Sullivan in Austin, Texas. Here's an interesting hem that we can make on a mid-gauge or bulky machine with, without using any patterning, without using a ribber. It's a pretty little scalloped hem and you'll see this is quite easy. I've started by knitting a few rows of waist yarn. I'm on a fairly tight tension. I'm on tension three. I'm going to put in one row of ravel cord. I'm going to make this hem white and make the rest of the garment piece pink. This carriage has rustle levers. It will knit all the stitches that are back in knitting position, but if I change the rustle levers, it will skip the ones that are out in hold. So what I'm going to do is set this carriage so that the left rustle lever is on number two and it will knit everything and the right rustle lever is on number one and it will skip the needles that are in hold. My first row I'm going to knit from right to left and I'm going to knit all the stitches. Now once I have knitted that first row from right to left I'm going to begin the scallop pattern which is just a tucked stitch I count over from the edge and get the sixth stitch, so five back, one out, and hold. Five back, one out, five back, one out, five back, and one out, five back, one out, five back, one out. This comes out even, by the way, if you do 41 stitches in total. So I'm on left needle number 20, going over to right needle number 21. When I knit to the right, my carriage is going to lay the yarn on these needles, but not knit them. We call that a tuck stitch. And then, the way I have the carriage set, when I knit to the left, it will knit all the needles. And I need to do that four times total, for a total of eight rows. So, I'm going to pick out the fifth stitch again, or excuse me, sixth, then leave five back and get the sixth stitch. Cross and back. Do it again. And you can start to see this pattern forming. You see little shadows where the tuck stitches are. One more time. Now I need a turning row, so I'm turning my tension all the way up to seven. That gives me a loose row so that the hem will turn more crisply. And I knit from my to right. Now I must remember to bring my tension back down to tension 3 and I'm going to change my settings. This time I'm going to put my left rustle lever on number 1 and my right rustle lever on number 2 because what I wanted to do is skip the held needles as I go to the right this time. So let's pick out some needles for this one. These are the same ones they're in groups of six, so there's five back and one out. And I knit to the left. It just lays the yarn on and doesn't knit, but when I knit to the right, it will knit them all. And I have to repeat that three more times. If you lose track, you can count this pretty easily. I want a total of four of these tuck groups. After 
have all of that, it's time to pick up the hem. This hem is picked up like any other hem. So here I am picking up my hem and I'm getting the white loop that is in between the two ravel cord bits on either side of it and just picking it up and putting it on the end needle and then getting the next one, putting it on the next needle. Now when you pick up hems, you're going to end up with one less stitch than you actually have needles and that's fine. This is the way knitting is. The bottom of knitting is always one less than the top of knitting. Where my needles are, this would be the top of the knitting here, and there's a loop on every hook. But the bottom of knitting is just the loops in between the hooks, so it's always going to be one less. That's just a natural thing. So I'll get this picked up and come right back. I've loosened my carriage up to the garment tension and I'm going to thread up with the pink yarn and knit a little bit on this sample. I also brought my needles out to hold. I knew the machine would have an easier time knitting them off if they were out and hold and to ensure that they knit I've gone ahead and moved my Russell lever to number two. Number two knits everything. And that was my closing row for the hem. I'm going to put some rows on and then bind off. Now, I want to stop here and mention something to you. If you have a brother machine, your brother machine has a hold setting. It has a lever right there. And with your brother machine, what you want to do is when you don't want to knit the needles anymore, you just push them back halfway and it'll knit those. So you would have to bring them out and then use your pusher and push them back on the row where you didn't want it to knit anymore. Or you could turn the H on and off each row. One more thing that I need to do is take my ravel cord and just pull it out. That makes the waist yarn fall right off. Now I'm going to give this a light steaming and show you how it looks. Look what a beautiful professional looking hem that I was able to achieve using my simple machine with no ribber and a little bit of hand manipulation. If you look closely, you can see that with this contrasting color, there's a little bit of a scallop going in the opposite direction at the place where the hem is joined. And then of course the scallop along the bottom is very prominent. I like it a lot with the contrasting color and I think it's also a beautiful edge finish in this situation where you really can't see where the hem has been lifted but you still have the beautiful scallops along the bottom.